Welcome everyone. In order to connect the Magic Keyboard Folio to your iPad, you must have the iPad 10th generation on your. Uh, this will not support the Air or Pro. So if we go to the About page under the model name, iPad 10th generation. If that changes, you'll see it on Apple's website. So we have two parts here. We have the smart keyboard itself that we can pop on or off, and then this back cover that we're meant to have on you know, all the time. So first of all, make sure your iPad is facing upright, so the camera is facing upwards. Make sure the camera uh, part is also facing upwards on the case. And then it's magnetic, you just place it down, boom, nice and simple. Now in order to access the uh, adjustment from the bottom, there's going to be two, two areas you can pull up from, but only pull up from the back area, right? Because this area here is, you know, you don't want to pull that one off. That's keeping the case out together. And you can adjust. So you can have a little stand here. It's pretty cool. Boom. Like this. Now the angles actually aren't as much as I expected. I didn't test this earlier, but you can see the angle is a little bit limited. But I think for the most part, that will get most people's needs done. Now for the actual keyboard itself, uh, you can see these three like, you know, yellow circles. And there's also three yellow dots on the case. So you just want to place everything like I have done. So you have iPad facing down, keyboard case, you know, in the same orientation. And you should have this magnetic force. It should just click into place just like this. And you can see the uh, things working, but there's more to this video because this keyboard, first of all, you can take off at any time. You just pull from the left hand side and only pull from the left and do this little motion, okay? So pull to the left. Don't add too much force, otherwise, you may you know, snap something off. So just pull from the left and like twist your arm, and you can see it'll come off. This is magnets, so uh, they'll give in eventually. Now on top of this, you can flip the Magic Keyboard, so the iPad is facing the other direction. And when you connect, you can then fold down, okay? So let me just do that again so you can uh, see what I'm doing. So this is how it looks like. iPad is facing the opposite direction, and then you can see the Magic Keyboard right here. And then you just fold down, and so maybe... You just want the iPad flat on the desk, um, but at the same time, you don't want the keyboard getting in your way. And that's how you would uh, fold it down, okay? And then like this, you yeah, fold it down. And if you just separate the keyboard part like this, you can then, you know, change the stand as well. It's not really an Apple-y solution, but it definitely is a solution that works. Boom. And I guess if you're on an uneven surface, this keyboard would help out with that. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.